Wheat School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Bayer Crop Science and CNMC. I'm Amber Bell and this is Real Agriculture. Here today with Rory Cranston of Bayer. And we're going to be doing a wheat school talking about seed treatment and what actually happens in that for first 40 days of establishment. So welcome, Rory. It's great to see you. Great to be here again. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about seed treatment. First, let's say, lay some groundwork on it. Um, at what point are you recommending to growers that they should be treating their seed? You know, I think there's different situations that go into it and we've talked about and I know it's been talked about a lot of episodes of just how important establishment is. Mm -hmm. It starts the season off, it's kind of the foundation for the rest of it um, on how you start getting quick out of the gate, um, things going well. But anyways, seed treatments I think are very good. They're actually a very useful uh, kind of insurance policy. So I'm going to say uh, for, you know, looking at early seeding for one. Mm -hmm. um, if we think about it, uh, when wheat germinates, the temperatures it likes, it can go as cool as two degrees, uh, it does really well at five, and things really get happening at warmer temperatures. So in those cooler early season temperatures, you know, um, I, I think using a seed treatment that has a neonicotinoid base, so uh, stress shield from Bayer um, with imidacloprid or thiamethoxin from competitors actually can be very valuable because it's actually got a bit of a stress mitigation benefit to it. So um, what it, they do in the plant is they just kind of increase the productivity range and how I like to equate that to is a, is a bit of the human body. You know we're out here in um, you know early March and let's face it like the human body, if it's like 12 to 15 degrees out, we're outside in a t-shirt, yes. we can be very productive, right? Now we think about what I just said about seed, 10 to 15 degrees C, it can be very productive. Mm -hmm. Now imagine us, we're outside in a t-shirt and now it's five, two degrees. I bet you our productivity goes down because we're doing things to mitigate it. Right. What some of these neonic based um, chemistries can do it's like putting a hoodie on or a bunny hug if you're from Saskatchewan and it just kind of increases that range um, that you can be really productive. It's that whole stress mitigation factor that comes along with those neonic uh, seed treatments there. So it just helps. Um, it helps with survivability. It helps with cold tolerance, cold mitigation on those early seeding times. Now, when you get later, what's gonna happen is, you know, there's a lot more diseases that do well in the soil, mm -hmm. but also what can happen is more pests may come out as well too. So seed treatments will still provide those biotic factors, which they're known for, um, for controlling a lot of diseases, a lot of pests as well too. So very critical in those first 40 days. You only get one chance to set up the year. And so doing your best to establish it is really going to be effective. So in trials, what have you seen in that first 40 days are the main differences in how the plants are emerging? Yeah, so that's really interesting. And this is where I think, you know, um, I'd like to really hype up seed tests as well too, mm -hmm. knowing what you're putting in the ground. Uh, so what's your vigor, what's your germination? And, and definitely some of the things we've seen early season, early seeding, um, that if you got some of those neonics based on that, it just pops out of the ground. It's a little bit more vigorous. We've seen a little bit more denser uh, canopy or growth when it comes in, the canopy fills in quicker, which can also be beneficial to your herbicides as well too, because you're increasing competition with it. So we've just seen it handles it, it gets going, it gets out of that gate a little bit faster. And uh, you know, in the area we live in the world, um, you know, getting out, getting faster, getting as much rain as you can is definitely going to be beneficial, not just at the start of the season, but later on too, uh, when you're getting to that grain fill, it establishes better root system so that if it has to reach down for moisture at an earlier period, it can grab it a little bit quicker than maybe something that got a little bit slower out of the gate. Right. And after you've treated your seed, how long? So we talked about the first 40 days, but what about afterwards? Do you continue to see a difference after that 40 day period is up? 
Yeah, so I think typically if we're seeing differences between some of these seed treatments, it's most obvious in a side-by-side -side environment for those first uh, 21 days, um, sometimes out into that first 30. Now we have seen um, where on some of our small plots that you can see height and just canopy differences out into that heading timing. Mm -hmm. And actually in some cases seeing that just uniformity when it comes to that fungicide application for your cereals um, a little bit better uh, uniformity, get a few more heads. But it's really difficult to tell at a 60 kilometer per hour drive by. Uh, so sometimes you need to have those side by sides to really see that difference. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fantastic. And any words of encouragement or recommendations for growers that are looking to go out and purchase some seed treatment? You know, uh, talk to your retailer, talk to your chemistry rep or chem rep, uh, Bayer rep out in the field. Uh, very knowledgeable people. Um, and you know to be the big thing is as if you do buy it uh one thing that i'm always going to say and preach for seed treatments is coverage 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 those are the three keys to making any seed treatment work um, when it comes down to it it's just going to be the best that way you just get best bang for your buck think of it like a suit of armor if you only got part of it on the chances that you could get damaged somewhere else are increased um, when it comes down to it so that's something i'm always going to say um, can be very beneficial and we can only start the season one so let's do it right terrific well thank you so much thank you and that was rory cranston on real agriculture